now as they move in towards the ramp, but not hitting the first eagle shot immediately. He is forced to retreat back and just try and at least delay. Okay, eventually finds one. They will move forward onto B, but with Flusher finding a kill elsewhere as well, it's not too bad of a position to be in. And look at this from JW. Into a position so quickly that they may not expect. He has some help coming in, but they all peek. Complexity play, that's so hell. Help his teammate out towards heaven in case this A split is coming in. And indeed, config goes down. JW in a prolonged fight eventually will fall. And with rush shots are recovering one, suddenly it's the two on two. But realizing both of those players are towards the upper half of the map, you will see that bomb just sprint to be. But look how quickly Rush has gotten position. Yeah, some good damage done, but he can't deny the bomb plant. The nade okay. through actually going to do decent damage. Poison now on two health, but a long range fight for Flusha. The smoke's about to fade, so that shouldn't be an issue. Those USPs just need one shot clean onto his head and he will be gone. He also doesn't have armor to work with, so even tapping the body is going to be pretty fatal. Yeah, that is the issue. The aim punch. Oh, actually, likely connect on Rush right there. Who is the man trying to cover off? Yeah, no poisons left alone on the bomb with two health. There really wasn't much to be done unless Flush had the only reason they made it that big. It was just like, we have to make it to the Ooh! biggest player. Oh, Ovo finds four of them. It is only the half investment from Fnatic, but they had a lot of nades. They had Kevlar on pretty much everyone. They had two AKs in play. So that's not what they were hoping for. It never is. 2v3, bomb plant. This is doable. Yeah, it's given them quite a bit of time. The rotation now coming down through Vent. There's going to be, I believe, two players around Decon. Yeah, Rush actually going to move back, I think, to try and join up a Poison instead, just so that they can ensure that there's no aggression here around the double doors. And they will realize in just a moment that that isn't the case. Instead, Brolin positioned on ramp. They have Crims up on the rafters. And if they all move in from double doors and window, then this is the crossfire that Fnatic are kind of hoping to be able to utilize. They've set themselves up perfectly for the positions they're coming in from. There we go, the first being found. Brolin doing what he can as he already has two kills to his name. Oh! Gets the headshot. The damage already done to config previously. And there it is, spamming through the smoke. 15 what? to 14, Fnatic, they steal it away. Brolin with four, Crims with one. It was a two on five, Mitch. What? They were both tagged already as well. They were both already at 42. Up over towards the ramp. That Molotov is a massive help for Obo. Oh. oh, apparently not enough. <laughs> Yeah, the Deagle shot's not helping Obo. They've got a player over towards Observation as well. Glass broken. Shot's not going to be landing in Config's the one to pick that up. Poison with another. And that's it. We're going to go to an overtime unless Golden's got it in him. Oh, maybe not. Am I calling it too early? Plant will come through. They're not going to continue aggressing. Actually, Poison gets blinded by his teammate's flash. And a 1v3. It's difficult. It starts with a headshot and he makes it through the single door as well. Oh, oh my god, what? Golden is inspired by Brolin right now. Pops out for the headshot on Rush and it's all on Blame F. He's actually tagged up. Golden's gonna wait for the top on the bomb. He runs ah! out. There it is. Two crazy rounds in a row for Fnatic to close out Nuke. That was an, an, an insane game and complexity dropping their map. Consider Oopsie oh. daisies. How does Crims get away with that? Not quite sure. Will eventually get caught jumping around the corner. Not expecting a fourth player to be on this side of the map, but they will eventually trade out config, keeping it in the one on one. So this is really not a bad spot for Flushing out to have himself in. There is a Molotov in play for Poison. Not going to put it down instead. Coming in too long as the flash is dropped. Flush it just with the one tap. Knowing the exact angle, they're being like, okay, there's a good chance he's holding library here to try and pin me in on the bomb site. I'm going to pre fire that. If he's not there, then I have time to reposition. If he is there, you see exactly what happened. An opening round for Fnatic being found, but it's an extremely close... I see a flash go over. No, we're not. Golden doesn't have a flash. And yet still, close we go. Grims wanted to play up, but he gets it from the back. Over on the bomb side. Golden swings out wide. Doesn't get himself the kill, but Grims! He's got four! Sprays them down one after another. Makes it look easy. And he even finds the ace. What a way to close out the round. 17 Ooh. to 15. Golden didn't get the kill. One on that east side to close it out. And to remember as well, they actually had a really strong T side. Flusha, look at this sneaky beaky like straight down to second mid. Oh, he missed the shots. Now he's in trouble. The nade to try and do a little bit of he's, damage, but yeah, they're great. everywhere. There's no way he gets away with this. Brawlin's there to support, finds one, but he has to bail after that. Making the best of a bad situation, I guess. But JW, look at this. No way they predict him to be in this corner. If a little bit of noise is made from the balcony by Brawlin. And yeah, he's, oh, he was looking to bait them as they walked through. But he still is, okay. But they decide to back off anyways. So complexity aren't going to be walking in and getting knived by JW. No knives for now. 
gonna shift this back over towards B. No one aggressive from Fnatic. It is just Golden being entrusted to solo this side of the map with the AWP. There is still some smokes in place, so they should be able to cut him off and really been able to see too much. And it's only now that Brolin's actually beginning to rotate back in. And nicely timed smoke, though, so that's certainly going to complicate things for complexity. They may have to just actually move through this. And yeah, that is the goal. Brolin, though, waiting on the other side in the CT spawn. Finds two, drops the bomb. They put the Molotov down to try and stop the recovery, but a smoke coming in extinguishes it, and it will actually be found back into the possession for com of complexity, but it makes no difference. Brolin gets himself four. And there it is. Fnatic with a flawless first half to the overtime. Complexity after pulling off an incredible T-side during regulation. Off the back of this now, rushing the pit is going to be Molly. He does have a smoke to put down, not before taking some damage, and of course allowing Fnatic to actually close in the distance. Tries to swing in, JW even holding off the rotation, actually doesn't hit on Oboe, it's a dangerous shot to miss, especially against such a dangerous man, but it doesn't matter, gets that kill, eventually at least notices that Blame F is coming even in from behind, even if he doesn't get the kill, but suddenly it's a one on two, there is some hope now, there's a smoke that could be used to isolate the fight, but he expects the elevated crims, takes him down, knows that Brolin is in towards the pit now, puts the smoke in where he's standing to make things a lot more difficult, and just restrict that vision completely, Brolin on the bicycle right now, but he's not cycling, he's waiting for this beat, and there it is, Blame F with a one on four, to save the day for complexity, he keeps them in it. Fantastic work by Blame F, a 4k, and what else can you expect in this series, Dean, it's been play after play, it just uh. keeps on giving. The best one I think we've had in Road to Rio so far. We've had good maps before, but...